Today I'm going to demonstrate how to change the username in C users such as admin or Andromeda or SS. We're going to demonstrate how to change SS. Um, now this is a risky business so you have to back up everything. Uh, back it up to your Dropbox or your OneDrive or your Google Drive or what have you. Um, um, keep in mind that Windows Restore Point have a conflict uh, sometimes with when you try to restore with cl cloud software. Um, also, uh, make sure your Dropbox is unlinked with your computer by logging into Dropbox and unlinking it online. Uh, because when you try to restore, if you do so to a Windows Restore Point, it will restore. Uh, uh, like the Dropbox file will also get restored at the same time uh, to a previous state uh, so it won't be the same um, now the first step is to create a local u admin user um, create a local admin user you go you type in user in search add edit or remove other users just to keep in mind this is a last resort to change the username because it's quite a sensitive uh, thing to do. Um, your windows can become unstable. So only do this if this is the only uh, scenario that you have left or you can risk doing this. Now I already have created two local admin users. Uh, my uh, Windows 10 user is actually a email address with Microsoft it's a hotmail address uh, so the way you create a local admin user uh, let's say we wanted to create SSA so we would go to add someone else to this PC not add a family member add someone else to this PC and then say I don't have this person sign in information and then because we don't uh, we're not using an email address it's ourselves we're adding then add a user without a microsoft account so here this way you will add a user um username um and uh, you enter a password make sure you note down that password on a piece of paper not online because you might lose access to your computer so that's how you create a user like this um, now, suppose you've created SS as a user and admin as a user and you want to change SS, that's the username you want to change in the C users. So you would log in via, well, you can log in via admin or you can keep logged in as I am already logged in through my Hotmail account. What I mean to say is you should not be logged in through SS if you're changing SS. So you see here, see users. If I'm trying to change this, I cannot be logged in as SS. That is the main mistake everyone is making. So the first thing you do is um, you can change the username um, here, rename. The reason why I'm getting this option is because I'm not logged in as SS. Um, so you change the you, you rename it um, and then the second thing you do is go to search type in N E T E L W I Z N E T P L W I Z and then this screen will come up and you want to change this you have three options three usernames you want to change this username you type uh, you you select properties and you change this now you change this username you will select okay i will i'm not doing this right now because i've already been through the tribulation of uh, doing this so not attempting it again uh so you cancel this 
uh, I mean, you will you will say okay to it, and then you'll click apply, and then you click okay, and I'm clicking cancel. Um, so after you've done uh, you've done you've changed the name, it will change, okay? Then you have to edit the registry. So you have to do all three of the steps in one go, in one session. I mean, um, so we already did net pl with we changed the property then we changed the folder name and now we we are going to edit the registry all these three steps have to be done during one session otherwise your windows will become unstable and you will have to reinstall the entire windows and you'll lose your data i'll also provide a link to microsoft windows so that you can download um, download it in case you do lose your windows or windows installation so go to search R E G E D I T registry edit. Now here, this is from a Microsoft tutorial, uh, which is incomplete because it doesn't specify how to. Uh, that it doesn't specify that you have to log in separately. Anyway, it's quite a helpful article. Uh, it helped me and. Uh, it asks you to navigate to this location. So I'm going to go all the way back. I already have it open. Okay, so you have to go to this location. I will post this uh, in the YouTube description for this video. So you go to first, first export this. Export this uh, registry, make a backup. Uh, both on your computer's desktop and also in the public folder here in the public folder and also on a USB memory stick you go now you go down we have to go to HP local machine software Microsoft Windows NT and then current version and then profile list here you will see a number of as the gentleman says here you will find several folders here like s hyphen one hyphen five hyphen search through them till you find a profile image path pointing to your old user name double click on it and replace your old username with your new username so if you go through each one of these uh, folders you will see profile image path with a certain property we're looking for SS no 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 yes so you found it now double click on this property profile image path and change this part um, now the the username you pick has to match perfectly the case has to match if it's lowercase elsewhere uh, in the two options that we discussed uh, net plwiz and the folder name it has to match exactly otherwise this won't work then you say okay after changing um, and then you don't need to save it it's automatically saved you cross out of this um, and then you just restart your computer um and you will have everything will work fine um and that's that